Hi, this is Bob Sheldon from Remax Spectrum. Uh, this is my newsletter uh, for August 2018, video newsletter number nine. I want to bring you up to speed on uh, how we've done year to date. Uh, this is at the uh, halfway point of uh, 2018. Uh, let's, uh, let's go. First, we'll talk about last month. Uh, last month, uh, month of June, we had 16 closings. Same as uh, is in, in May, uh, but, uh, but one less than we did in uh, June of 2017. The uh, average uh, sale in, in June was uh, uh, $535,000. The, uh, the median on that was uh, $454,000. Those numbers bring us to the uh, midway point of 2018. Uh, so far this year, we've sold up to uh, July the 1st, if you will, we've sold uh, 62 homes. Down from 68 in 2017, that represents about 8.8% uh, uh, decrease. Those 62 sales had an average price of uh, 564,000. Median price on that was uh, just 500 under the uh, year-end 2017 median at uh, 464,500. Uh, uh, moving forward, uh, looking at inventory, uh, the current inventory is uh, 71 homes. That's higher than it was at any time in 2017 and certainly the highest so far this year. It seems to be keeping pace, actually uh, growing a little bit compared to the sales, which is which I've already said it down about uh, almost 10% at 8.8%. Uh, the average uh, uh, list price is uh, now under 800,000 at uh, 787, uh, and the uh, the median is uh, at 575, which is about where it's been for a while. Before I finish up on uh, mid-year status, just need to say that uh, the market seems to be uh, healthy. It's we're st still in a in a seller's market, in spite of the fact that inventory is up a little bit. Um, I'm seeing buyers, uh, not as many as I'd like, but I'm seeing them out here. So I'm, I'm still hopeful that uh, the year will turn out pretty well. A few other articles in the newsletter. Uh, one is on, uh, it's an interesting animation on, uh, on the depth of our ocean, you know, what happens at various depths. It's a cute little uh, animation that you can take a look at. Uh, also an article on a, on a project in, in East Ham called Code Red, uh, where we have this uh, telephone notification of things happening, you know, Roads closed, uh, accidents, um, hurricane preparedness, a number of other things. Um, good thing to sign up for if you have a home out here, even if you don't actually spend a lot of time here. Just good to know what's going on. One more thing that seems to be of interest is that uh, there's something now called the HGTV effect, uh, where everything in real estate looks so simple because it seems to happen in a half an hour on TV or an hour when they do uh, uh, some uh, renovations. Uh, read the article. Uh, there's, it's, a good, uh, it's, it's a good fun read. Uh, again, nothing really happens in, in the periods of time that seems to, they, they seem to apply on TV, but it's a, it's a good, good, uh, good read. When it comes to new listings, uh, there's three this month. Uh, two uh, parcels of land. Uh, one is a, uh, a larger parcel that's a little bit uh, terrain challenged, if you will, but certainly can uh, handle a three-bedroom house listed at $179,000. The other one is actually a, uh, a pre premium lot, although it's uh, only 20,000 square feet. It's you know, roughly, uh, oh, maybe 75 feet from the coastal bank uh, on, the, on the bay side. and has uh, deeded uh, access through a, a private set of stairs uh, to an association beach. Great lot, uh, listed at $575,000. There's a house. The house is at 1180 uh, Old Orchard Road. Larger home, three bedrooms, one bath. Has a large garage in the back. Uh, to, uh, click through it and uh, take a look at it. It might uh, suit your needs. Listed at uh, three ninety nine. That's my uh, newsletter for uh, August twenty eighteen. Uh, thank you for watching. And